Hello, this video is going to go over how to view playback from GWCMS. So for starters, we're going to click on the playback button here. And over here on the side, it will show the NVRs you have added to the software. As you can see, this is the same NVR. I just have a local connection and a remote connection. Now, if you are on the location, the local connection will always be faster, um, but you are still able to use the remote if needed. However, the remote will only be available if you are away from the location. This one will not be. So go ahead and hit the plus sign. And right now I only have the one camera, so I'm going to select that. Uh, you can select multiple cameras. However, be warned that depending on the resolution and various encode settings of your cameras, they may not be able to play. Uh, this is also affected by network speed if you are remote, well, and as far as local network speed as well, but not so much prevalent there. And so basically, uh, it will use up a lot of computer resources. Uh, and you'll see up here right now, just having nothing playing, it's bouncing between a very low usage and a high, uh, it was about 25% at one point, and the RAM as well. So if you don't have a very powerful computer, you are going to be limited by the number of channels you can play, as well as by the NVR's resources. Okay, so moving on down here, uh, this is to pick the recording type. So if you do take snapshots, you can search for those as well. Uh, normal play is pretty much everything. Event play will let you choose between these various elements, such as motion. Uh, if I went and choose, uh, it should be AI detect, but that is IA detect. Uh, it will let you choose between area intrusion and line crossing. So we're going to go to normal play. Now, if I have my NVR set to record substream as well, I could select this box and it will let me search for those files. Then down here, we can select the date. So I'm going to look for the 16th. And down here, we can search for the time. And then once you hit search, it's going to find any files on the NVR associated within those parameters. And as you can notice here down on the bottom, it's showing the blue bar for the normal recording and the red for the event recordings. So if I were to go back and choose, let's say event play and motion, the file list got significantly smaller. And so all you have to do at this point is either double click on the file here on the left and it will start playing that file or you can click down here on the bar and it will jump to that location and as you can see here on the left there's a little blue arrow indicating what file is currently playing so if you did need to do any downloads and search for those files you could see which one you need to download. And if you needed to make the bar down here a little uh, easier to sort through, you could expand it to two hour, one hour, or 30 minute increments. So from here to, from, the, from all the way on the left side to the right side, that's a 30 minute time period. And it makes it easier to just jump through certain uh, time periods to find certain events that you may be looking for. And if your computer and the MVR can handle it, uh, you can fast forward. And then, of course, you have your various stop, play, all that stuff here. If you needed to cut a file, you could do so here. Then you have snapshot and record locking, which will lock the file on the NVR. And if you want it to full screen, you have full screen here. And then all you have to do is hit escape and it takes you back out. And as you can see up here, now the CPU usage 
and the RAM have gone up since we are doing playback. And that's all there is to playing back footage from GWCMS.